here on the front? No, the clock's running. Oh, then you know it plays recording. So I'm here with uh, Peter Clavins, physics specialist. I'm special. <laughs> <laughs> Very special. A common question we get is, how do you know the level of liquid helium inside a door? Right. Many ways to do it, but there's one that's very simple and was used a long time ago. Most modern day folks just weigh the doer and helium has a certain uh, weight per liter. You can just weigh it on a, on, a, on a precise scale and calculate your liquid. That's probably the most accurate, but a simpler way is just to use a dipstick. Let's go take a look and do it. We're making a video. You want to be famous? Here. <laughs> Are we, are we online right now? We are. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm too busy. Hey. You want to be famous and learn cryogenics at the same time? Let's go. <laughs> There's a simple device called a dipstick, and so it's just a thin wall, thin wall stainless steel tube with a couple of alligator clips for, for positioning the, along the tube. It's open on one end. On the top, we have a simple eyedropper bulb. That's just a simple opening tube. And then the, the temperature difference in here will give you thermal oscillations inside the tube. And when you approach the liquid level, so we get a change in frequency. This will oscillate at one frequency when you're above the liquid level and a rapid, a rapid frequency. When you hit the liquid level, the oscillations will slow. It'll change frequency. Lower this till all the way to the bottom. Mark the level where the bottom of the doer is. Then you can start pulling it out and then you can actually feel the change in, in frequency or the change in the rate of the oscillations. And then you can mark it with the second clip. And then you can just measure this and then look at the calibration chart. Have your PPEs on, your release safety glasses, cryo gloves. We've got cryo gloves, I think, somewhere. So, very important cold gas can burn you, as especially liquid helium coming out the cold gas can give you frostbite. And we're going to slowly open up the top of the doer. So cold, the gas is so cold. This is actually helium is an invisible gas. We're getting this white plume here because it's making water vapor freeze out of the atmosphere. And that's why it's visible. And so we're gonna basically slowly lower this in. And again, we're gonna now start to boil off some gas. There's the bottom of the doer. I'm gonna mark the, mark the position of the bottom of the doer. And now I'm gonna to start to pull it up. You'll check out bulb, it's gonna change. It just changed frequency. Where is it? So it's in the liquid, right? Yeah, so this, it's actually right there. This is almost an empty doer. There's above and there's below. Above, below the liquid level. Above, at the liquid level. dipstick, blows off your, your doer, and then you can measure that difference. Now one inch is uh, one liter, I guess, uh, on this scale, so there's less than a liter in, in this doer, and that's how you dip a doer. Last time that doer was actually empty. We're going to try a full doer. We're going to slowly open the valve and depressurize the doer lower this dipstick in. And when we hit the liquid level, you'll probably get a little bit of an enhanced boil off. We just want to find where the bottom of the doer is. We're going to mark the bottom of the doer. If it's a really cold doer, you're going to have to go up quite a bit of way to up, and you can hear, actually hear it changing. Yeah, we can use a meter stick and measure in centimeters or, oh, this is in centimeters. I've never seen one of these. So we have 53 centimeters. 
So we will look on our chart right here. 53 centimeters is 97.4 liters. So it's nice about these uh, uh, eyedropper bulbs. You can actually even hear them uh, change frequency. So you It can go slower, just because they're going to start falling off now. And that's probably the bottom, but they're going to take it all the way to the bottom. And then you want to be right where it changes frequencies or where your liquid level is. Especially when they're very full, you need to be on a tall ladder. So a little about 52 and a half. A little bit about, a little bit different than what I meant, but uh, 52 and a half would be about 96 liters. Peter Plaza Specialist. How much did you get? Uh, 97.4. Sarai. New specialists, what did you get? 97. Repeated measurements should be within a half liter. And that's how you do it. Simple device, fairly accurate, measure approximately.